Hello everyone, my name is Webweaver and welcome back to the Haru Arc where Haru Gaming. Uh, so here's the deal. I think we're gonna put... Here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna put the death nail in our Haru strategy, right? Like, we are going to see... Because we used the heavy duty flashlight with our Haru strat. And we were only able to attack three times. They were accurate hits, but we were only able to attack three times. That's kind of a bummer. Uh, and we could only attack twice with blocking. So I wanted to see if we could use one of the most dog water weapons to see if we could win with Haru. And here's the thing. If we have an opportunity to take the police revolver, I will take the police revolver. However, if we do not, I'm going to be using a dog water weapon. And the and actually, we're going to make a game out of it. Because by the time you watch this episode, I'll be freaking savage raiding P4S Act 2 Prog. Phase 2 Act 2 Prog. And hopefully, you know, we'll be on to Act 3. Act 3 looks easy. I volunteered to be the bait that gets fucking kicked and yeeted into existence. Out of existence, I should say. Because that kick's gonna hurt. Because here's the thing, alright? Let me let me break my strategy down to you. The party finder strat that I'm aware of is a ranged DPS gets kicked. And I understand why, because ranged DPS can attack and move at the same time, so they can move into position, they can get kicked, they can get yeeted, they can go out so they dodge the, the, uh, the triangles, you know? I understand why. But here's the thing. You've got four, you've got the two tanks and the two melee over in Narnia, soaking towers away from the boss. They're not getting up time. They're also getting hit by a tower. And since these mechanics go by lightning freaking fast, I want there to be a healer who is in range of everyone, okay? And the healer who gets kicked gets kicked in the middle. All right, or the person who gets kicked gets kicked in the middle. I do not want both healers to be in Narnia away from half of the team. Actually, more than half the team, because some spells might even be out of range of the freaking range DPS who gets kicked. I don't know. I haven't been there yet. And so it's like, I'm sure that for uptime optimal strat... Wait, wait get Kyrie out of here. This is the Haru arc. Uh, you know, the freaking aggression here. It's, like, it's Haru gaming. But, uh, you know, no speed is too high. <laughs> oh my god, that, so it sound that sounds so lame, but it fits Haru perfectly, so, you know, it is, uh, I don't know, I, I think it sounds kind of goofy. Uh, maybe lame is the wrong word, technical, like, from a technical perspective, lame is the wrong word. It's just goofy, no speed is too high. It's like a, like a Speed Racer character. Speed Racer was a monster, by the way. Absolute dickhead, but... <laughs> We're getting a little off track, right? I want me, the healer, because I'm the, the regen, reactive healer, to get kicked into the middle so that if the melee DPS or the tanks are low and they're low health, I want to be able to heal them easily. And then, you know, that's that just sounds like a smart strategy for me. You know, maybe in the future, when we're all more comfortable with the fight and we're trying to optimize and go for like the the 15 minute kill or 16 17 minute kill whatever it's like was it like part one takes like eight minutes part two takes or, or phase one takes like eight uh eight or nine minutes phase two takes like seven uh however long it is you know but like you know and we're going seventh curse again because i want to be able to buy these dog water weapons and we're gonna go regular haru gaming because i want to put this freaking pedal to the metal and we're gonna make combat more punishing because I have the perfect idea for a weapon, all right? I have the perfect idea for a weapon that is absolute dog water that I would not recommend using. Uh, knowledge, never happening. I'm gonna tell you right now, never happening. Second enemy, I'll try to remember it, but probably won't. Dexterity, eh, if there's fear festival, sure. Charisma, yeah, maybe. Uh, strength, absolutely happening, and second mystery. So every stat check and, and your second, so do remember that if you can. It will be on the test later. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of important. So here's the thing. We're not gonna go into true dog water territory, right? Like, dog wa like truly disgusting dog water territory would be, like, bone saw, hunting rifle, um, wooden bat, you know, some absolute hive of degeneracy and scum, those three weapons. But, uh, 
you know, we'll, we'll I'll, I'll show you what we're gonna use. I'm gonna try to get a compass as well. I think we're gonna need it. I, you're gonna figure out, you might already know what weapon I'm talking about here. Why I would want a compass specifically. But we're also gonna try to unlimited smonk works as well. Unfortunate. Are we gonna skip Household Hell? I think, like, skipping any mystery in exchange for TV Terror is just beneficial. But, eh, no, nah, no, nah, nah, that's okay. We're not gonna get the chainsaw either. I, I want dog water weapons only, please. All right, you have to give it to me first, though. Oh, here it is. All right. We are using the Carpenter Hammer. That is correct. We are using the Carpenter Hammer. And uh, compass, please? Camera. Camera could actually be used. I I'm going to tell you right now. Camera could be used for a clutch. Uh... Village or forest locations have a small... You know what? Sure. We, we've used the map like we've used the map like once and I'm pretty sure when we were using the map the map was literally not viable but uh, yeah anyways we would like to get a uh, jar of blood as soon as humanly oh no that's terrible can we get jar of blood like now ASAP yesterday that uh, works too and we're gonna try to get as many uh oh okay yeah you know what I said about the freaking uh you know what I said about the freaking uh, knowledge check never happening? Let me tell you about two knowledge Haru. I think I might put one point of knowledge just because what the hell? Oh, that's from the that's from the curse. That's right, Te a technical curse. That is a technically a curse. That is how the game uh, distributes it. What if we just died here? That'd be so funny. Oh my god, I thought we got another one because it appeared at the bottom, but no, it, it, it goes to the top first. Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. But uh, yeah, no, that that genuinely scared the crap, of me, uh, crap out of me. I thought we literally died. Oh my god. Um, and you know, we got plenty of time, right? Like, we, we got plenty of time to get another plus two funds at any period. We are running the hell away. I do not have a mummified heart, okay? I am not dealing with that. But uh, also, Cadaver Theater be like... I, I would appreciate not to die to reason loss in my first mystery. I would appreciate not to die from reason loss, so we're going to opt into stamina damage and instead get 5 EXP. I'm not complaining. But uh, yeah, listen, I, I want... Uh, it's it's very true. Does this map work here? Villager Forest. Okay, it doesn't work here. Okay. But we are going into the forest for a bit, so that's fine. Hopefully, we'll have a chance to work. Uh, you can go to hell. We're going to, since we're smonking, we should be able to do this, right? Regain one stamina, regain one reason, and run away. Not a big fan of that, but it is what it is. I, I don't want to deal with it. Uh, thank you for getting me out of that mystery. That was hell. Price hike, that makes buying smonks infinitely more annoying. I think that uh, when you're playing Haru, I think price hike is a, is a big deal. I think price hike is genuinely a big deal. Uh, Vigil? V Vigil is also Mansion, so you can go straight to Hell as well. Um, we could get a Light Source if we wanted to. That, uh, that, we're gonna do this first, because it unlocks blue options. And also, if this is our only forest mystery and I was a moron for buying the map, we can just sell the map for, uh, for Smonk money. <laughs> oh god. Also, that's Mansion right there. Like, this does take... Play, we're never gonna the map's never gonna proc is it oh god because i'm pretty sure there's flavor text for the map procking oh no this this entire mystery takes place in the mansion there's only that one forest oh god what have i done thank you for the light source i don't even need the perception honestly that's fine i was gonna be like oh yeah we could go to the mansion foyer that's fine i mean we're not fighting the boss hell no although this is taking uh valuable smonks from us um, if we could get a point of knowledge here, that'd be so good. Unfortunately, we ended up with a broken jaw. <laughs> we went looking for knowledge and we got punched in the, punched in the face. But, uh, okay, second enemy. This is, this is actionable. This is something that we can do. Oh my god, this is so bad. Oh my god, this is so bad. We're throwing the brick, we have to. Now, the bright side... Oh, God. Now, the bright side is that we can kill them with the help of a brick. But that's still not very good. I'm, I'm, on, I was on, I'm honestly tempted to take plus one knowledge. I don't want to die. I don't want to randomly get yeeted. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. 
We're taking ending B, by the way, 100%. For, for real, for sure. But, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I, I want the healer to get kicked into the thing, because I, I think that makes it a lot more comfortable. I should have taken reason, actually, now that I think about it, because the smonk will regenerate sanity. Broken bottle, very interesting. We're gonna get a painting, you know, where... <laughs> POV. Hold on. POV, you managed to get a, uh, a commission from your favorite Twitter artist. And that's not even, like, an insult or a jab or a joke. This painting would unironically go hard. You got Scrimbo Bimbolo killing somebody? That's great. Listen, if they- listen. If they made- if Yizbird made World of Horror merch that is the Ishiro-san painting, and it was not over $40, well, it depends. Like, if it was, like, a print, and it was, like, $10, I would get that. But, I mean, like, an actual painting, I would pay 40 bucks for it. <laughs> but if it was, uh, if it was just a print, like, I'd pay, like, 10 bucks for it, 15 bucks for it. You know, a print with a good frame, something like that, goes on the wall. <laughs> what is that one thing that's, like, the, uh, the, the sponsorship meme for, like, video game art? That one, where it's just, like, the metal things that go on your wall that have, that are, like, painted on? They, they... When's that collaboration, and when am I going to be the sponsorship? <laughs> oh. Violent Vigil Abnormal Arms. Why why on earth did I buy the map? Why on earth did I buy the map? We'll, we'll do Violent Vigil. We have enough smonks to cover it. You know, if the map worked in the mansion, I it would. It, there's no reason why it should, but if the map worked in the mansion, it would actually be good. <laughs> Oh, no, there's... To be honest, though, I've never really internalized it like that before. Hey, do you want to take 20% chances? I've never really internalized it like that before. We're running. Absolutely. We're not fighting a guy with 40 power. Absolutely not. That's insane. I've never really internalized it as there being a meaningful difference between mansion, forest, and village. But there is. Uh, forest and village proc map. Mansion doesn't. Uh, if you wanted to stretch the imagination of, like, wait, why would the map work for the freaking mansion? Well, presumably, the village is on the map, so you know how to get around. Well, mansion, this mansion is out of town, and it is in a remote location. So the map could tell you how to get to the mansion, and, you know... I mean, it should at least work in Peculiar Painting, because you're wandering around the outskirts, but... <laughs> I mean, it technically does when you go to the forest, but you only go to the forest once! Oh, don't worry about it. The meat cleaver would be an upgrade, by the way. For sure. Absolutely. Hello, Billy Maze. You are you are actually, like, legitimately saving me here. So what if we just did, uh... How much have you ever lost in a coin toss, by the way? Oh my god. Hey, wait, no. I want that curious statuette. No! Okay, current objective survive. Excuse me. Oh, right, we haven't really leveled up yet, that's right. But we can kill him no matter what, because we got a damage buff. He's got 14 health, it's not a big deal. Cut the plant down, get some doom back. Listen, I am not a fan of this, okay? Actually, give me the sanity. Give me the sanity, because we're going to lose it immediately. <laughs> uh, goodbye, Akane. Kill that person. And then uh, we just leave. And now it's an unseen force lends your hand. Leads your hand, you reach for a knife. True and real. Uh, okay, quick thinking. I don't remember what the light... Oh, it was every stat check in the game. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, sure, we'll take leadership here. I know that might seem absolutely insane, but I think it'll I think it'll work out. We, we can sell a couple of things, get an experimental treatment if we need to. I'm not particularly... We could also just get smonks as well. Uh, and I'm thinking about it, so here's the thing. At the dog store, cigarettes are three and four and are four. So if we get five funds, we can get four in cigarettes, which would give us plus two. Which might honestly just be completely worth it. Because it's not that it, it's not really that meaningful uh, meaningful of a difference, is it? Can we get cursed again? One more? Okay, let's do it. We got branded. That does suck. 
But we go to the dog store. Only got cigarettes? Come on. I don't want to reroll. I was hoping to just get lucky, but that's okay. Like, I mean, this should just be good enough. Uh, unless we take, like, uh, extra reason damage that we're not expecting. Uh, speaking of which, we will get disemboweled as a treat. Uh, I don't care about tiny cuts or broken jaw. That's completely fine. Uh, we have eight charisma. This should be viable. Oh, oh, that's beautiful. That's incredible. We would have made that no matter what, because that was a four. So we didn't have to upgrade our charisma, but you always want to. We lost sanity at Chonky Rat. Now that's not very realistic. This should give you this should give you all the sanity in the game. This should be plus eight. Uh, my day always gets better whenever I see this fat rat being grabbed. That's one of my favorite memes. That's why the the only reason I have fat rat being grabbed as a mod that's installed is that I actually just am in I, I I genuinely like the meme. It's one of my favorite memes of all time. I I love the the fat rat being grabbed, the chonky rat. It, it, it like when I found out that that rat passed away, I felt sad because that's one of my that that is. Unironically, one of my favorite memes. That is unironically one of my favorite memes. It, it always makes me laugh. Um, so that's five. That's five. That's five stamina. Uh, can you maybe not? So we still can't prep. A. I mean, it's eighty percent. Hold on. Hold on. We can do an 80%, 80%? No, 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 no. Why would we ever do that? Clear, please? Okay. So we can do a prep... Wait. There we go. So prep 80%. And we'll throw the meat cleaver. Please don't miss. Oh, thank God. <laughs> that was so... That that was genuinely clutch. That was, that was genuinely clutch. Uh, call police? Plus one money. Let's go. We are no longer going to get yeeted. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll take this as a quick and easy, uh, whatchamacallit. Follow the map! Oh my god. The first time that's ever been done in the history of gaming. Holy crap. Now we lost it immediately because of insomnia, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Who's our seconds, by the way? I don't know. <laughs> I, I genuinely didn't remember. I, I genuinely did not remember. Uh, abnormal arms. So we're gonna want to pick up a couple of bricks here for sure. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, there is no Takashi, so I don't have to worry about smonks because we're gonna be complete. Ooh, Cursed doll is actually kind of fun. Um, did we ever see the CQC training event? I genuinely don't remember. We are going to the. Just do a hail mary. No, because we don't have any perception. I mean, I guess we could. Also, I'm... Oh, jeez. Uh, we still could die at any time. Uh, let's take Dexterity, and then, like, Hope. We'll, we'll take uh, something that's actually beneficial. Like, I'll take the Luck. Uh, get rid of the Flashlight for now, I think. Because I'm not thinking of any, like, Flashlight light source events in the apartment in the, the downtown. Um, yeah, 8 Strength. That's relatively fine. We rolled a 1. Love to see it. But yeah, just give me the Curious Statuette, just in case. And technically, now that I think about it, since there's no Takashi, and the human human enemies would be Apartment Stalker, and maybe Gigolo and Obsessed Man? Okay, we'll wait. We'll, we'll definitely wait then. That that makes sense to, to keep the Stalker's mask on. Because there's a few... Like, the fact that I could name three human enemies that we're going to be potentially coming into contact with, uh, and two of them are at the locations we've been currently spamming, uh, I think that's a completely reasonable thing to uh, watch out for. And we definitely have infinite ways to uh, kill the uh, the vent crawler. We've got Cursed Doll, we have two bricks, we've got a Thutu Flame. Oh my god. How's the... Oh my god. I Listen, we can kill him, but I really don't want to. We'll, we'll do it just because I, I don't want him to get him. We have to do this. Are you kidding me? We have to do this one more time. Unreal. What a god-awful sever. Six sever damage? The Carpenter's Hammer does not have a good sever. That's for sure. Uh, 
but do I want to block? We go down to five. 47, 47, oh my god. And we just do 60s? Good lord. 